So the decals are on, uh, I've put a clear coat of varnish on and I'm just giving a coat of Fleur Flores Weathering Wash. This is sand, I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, I'm getting quite low, I've had this many years now. And basically all you do is just pop it on your brush and then apply it to the panel lines. And it's a clay wash so the clay, the pigment actually just drops into the, the rivets and panel lines. So we'll leave that to dry. And then once that's dry, we'll just wipe it off with a, a damp kitchen towel. So just lick the end of the kitchen towel and wipe it or dip it in water. I'll show you later on. Now that the clay wash is dry, it's underneath. I've only picked out certain panel lines to do. It's a case of just wiping it off. Just get a bit of kitchen towel. I wet it with my tongue. <laughs> and then just, uh, if... You've got to imagine the wind direction going over the wing. So because these lines are going down, we want to be coming this way. So we move that way and wipe it off with the cloth. Okay. Wipe it again. And then when you get down to uh, sections that run panel lines that run that way laterally along the wing, you just go down. It doesn't matter how mucky this is, because with it being a clay wash, you just wipe it off, wet it and wipe it. See it coming off on the cloth. We're down there where the fuel filler is and again got this light on maybe that's made any difference So now you should be able to see <coughs> where it's picked out the, the panel lines. If that's picking up well. And you continue uh, wiping it off on the rest of the model. And if you find there are spots where uh, there's not enough uh, clay wash, you just reapply a little bit more, wait for it to dry, and then wipe it off. The next uh, step, once we've wiped it all off, is to then give the whole aeroplane a coat of matte varnish. Well, I've re removed as much as uh, the flurry wash as I think is adequate. I'm trying to give it a, a weathered look. Obviously in Spain, in summer months, it was quite dusty and dirty. So I've left quite a bit of grime on it. As you can see it's picked out some of the panel lines and the fuel fillers. And again, underneath, you can see just a little bit there and there. I might do a bit more chipping and some weathering as well as I go along. But roughly, um, I think that's about it. I'll give it a matte coat now. And um, then I'll put the, the last parts on. So I'll be I'll be putting on the, the machine gun and uh, the two antenna there. And uh, there's a little aerial that goes out of pitot tube. I've still got the grey mark there. I'll, I'll probably put a few chips on it. So I'm deciding what colour to use, whether to use black or RLMO2. But yeah, so uh, next job is coat of matte paint. And then um, just the vinyl touches, remove this, uh, the masking. Uh, you can see I've put the, the wash over the windows as well. So hopefully that will leave a little line inside, just around the rims of the windows, just to make it a little bit more interesting. So yeah, that's where we're up to so far, and I'll catch you later. Right now, I'm just going to apply um, a coat of matte varnish. Uh, I always use alcohol, isoprol alcohol. 
whenever I spray. Um, I find I get good results from it, it thins very well. The uh, alcohol evaporates, leaving just the paint behind. Um, you do, as always, when spraying, you need to wear a mask. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to continue uh, spraying, but I'm not going to film it all. It's pretty boring, so we'll see you soon. Right, we're back, and it's had a coat of matte varnish. Got down pretty well. You can see. Not too bad, not too bad at all. I say the drying time's really quick. So yes, a few bits to put on, propeller, machine gun, you see that, machine gun, um, what else, are oh, the pitot tube that goes on here, or here, machine guns, and I think that's, that's a done, I'll do a bit more weathering, a bit more chipping, um, the next time you see it, she'll be done.